Students, this is a video about the distance formula. In our previous video, we looked at how we can use Pythagoras' theorem and use that to find the distance between two points. And Pythagoras' theorem is c squared equals a squared plus b squared, where c is the hypotenuse and a and b are the two short sides. We found that to get a and b, we needed to look at the coordinates of the points and subtract one from the other in each case. So what we have is the proper or full formal distance formula here, which you'll need to copy down for this video. It looks different, but it's actually just c squared equals a squared plus b squared. And remember, to get c, we have to take the square root. And so this is why the final formula has the square root, because for a regular triangle, it's the square root to get the final answer for c. And you can see here, in this formula, we've got a square root symbol. The symbol d means distance, and we take the square root of all of those things. So remember, the square root sign reaches right to the end. Where do these things come from? For example, where does this first part, x2 minus x1, where does that come from? How can that be the same as a? Well, let's have a look. We've got here in our diagram x2 minus x1 and a. Well, if we were doing it the other way, we would call this side here a, wouldn't we? We would call the other side going up, we'd call that b, but it's called y2 minus y1. Well, let's see if we can work out how this a is the same as x2 minus x1, and let's see if we can work out how b is y2 minus y1. To get this length a along the bottom here, we are if we are given the two coordinates, x2, y2, and x1, y1, the a distance is this horizontal across distance. To get it, we, we go the end point minus the beginning point, and that will give us the distance in between. If you think about any time you drive somewhere, if we have, say, Brisbane, and we have a town X, which is 20 kilometres from Brisbane in a straight line, then if we've got town Y, which is 70 kilometres from Brisbane in a straight line in one direction, how do we work out the distance between town X and Y? You know how to do that. You would simply go, it is 70 minus 20. It's 50, isn't it? So you know how to do this. So let's apply that same idea. We, what we did just then was to get the end point, its distance from the origin, which is Brisbane, minus the other point, which is 20 from the origin. This one here, this point here is x2 from the origin and this one is x1 from the origin so it's the difference is x2 minus x1 and therefore we get the blue stuff in here same with the y we just apply the same thing but we're going up and down and so we've got y2 minus y1 all right that one there is we st we end up at y2 we started at y1 and it's the difference between them just be careful when you're entering these in i'll show you with an example now let's say here we have to find the distance between point one and point two you can see the points one and two written in purple so there's point one and there's point two what's the distance Okay, so what we do, we write the formula down. So the distance is, remember this is just Pythagoras' theorem, which I've left on the page there. Big long square root sign. The difference between the x's, so the last x minus the first x coordinate. We square that, remember to square it, plus, because Pythagoras' theorem has a plus. Okay, and the difference between the y's. So the second y minus the first y, sorry, it's not squared, it's y, y number 2, take away y number 1, then that's squared, 
because Pythagoras' theorem you square them, remember? So, here we go. We need to put in what the values are. So, we need to go x1 equals, let's have a look, it's in yellow there. So, x1 is negative 3 because it's the x value of 0.1. y1 is 2. So you write that down, and x of 0.2 is up here, negative 1, and we've got y of 0.2, y of 0.2 is that one there, 5, you can see him in green. Be clear on that, and then once you've worked that out, you can substitute it in. So x2 minus x1 is negative 1 minus negative 3. And that gets squared. Plus y2, which is 5 minus 2. And that's squared. Work out what's inside the brackets first before you square it. So be careful here. We've got negative 1 minus negative 3. That's the same as negative 1 plus 3, or plus positive 3. What's negative 1 plus positive 3 is negative 1 plus 3, all squared. 5 minus 2 is 3 squared. Notice how I didn't do that bit of working all in one line, just to make sure you can follow it. So this one here, the negative 1 plus 3, and you still need to be careful of that. So the negative 1 plus 3, we've got to work that out on this next line. So in the yellow, negative 1 plus 3, if you think about your number line, is 2. Now this is squared, and then you've still got 3 squared. And... 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 and 9 is 13, the square root of 13. Using a calculator you get an approximation, it is about 3.61. So let's try some of the proper distance formula now.